Good afternoon and welcome to New York Crypto Talk. Today's project review is on CP Chain. This is my weekly follower poll that I do every week looking to see what my followers want to review. Obviously, sometimes I put up a handful of items that I will be reviewing as you can see here. I did actually review Elastos earlier this week and I will be doing CP Chain today. And I'll most likely look at A-Chain and certain Labs token at down the road. These are just things to kind of push out the videos quicker and I see what my followers like to do. Um, I also ask for people to make comments below if none of these interest them. So today is CP Chain. So thank you guys. I will be reviewing CP Chain, which is Cyber Physical Chain. If you guys are not aware, it is a very, very small project, not really relatively known to the, the mainstream because it is a Chinese company. There's not a lot in English out there. I actually had to use my Chrome browser for once to get the translation of a lot of these websites and the interviews and the information because all their news articles are in Chinese. Currently they are trading at eight cents and their market cap is $20 million with a circulating supply of about 225 million and a total supply of 1 billion. Currently you can get this on IDEX, Ether Delta, and BBOX. This is what I would consider a very low market cap item. It is a very unknown project, but a potential to be a big hitter in the future because it is one of my favorite types of projects, IOT. I have done multiple reviews on the IOT industries and the different projects that are out there right now. And I think CP Chain does have a good project with a lot of good partnerships with existing blockchains right now and they do have three main people on their team with a lot of history in the iot and blockchain realm and without further ado i am going to jump to their web page and we are going to get into this review and see what i think about the project so cyber physical chain if you go to their website there is not a lot of information on it there is a light paper which i went through and to be honest i was not a big fan of their white paper i will go through a couple of things that i feel are relevant to the project where i think they differentiate themselves but i would have to say this being a Chinese project and English not being their main language, these are probably not the greatest white paper uh, when it comes to the language, the format, how it's done, res getting information about the project. It's not very technical. There's a lot of what ifs. There's a lot of obstacles talking about what IoT's fear is and where they need to solve the problem. So I think it's a really good read for someone who just wants to understand the project and IoT in general. As far as the actual CP Chain project, I wish there was more technical details when it comes to their chains, their consensus algorithm, but I will work with what I have. So. What is CP Chain? Here's a quick video that is the CEO talking about the project. Obviously, it is dubbed, uh, sorry, it's subbed. So it's subbed in English, and you can check this video out. It is a dual chain project. They do have a main chain and a side chain, and this is where they're looking to differentiate themselves because of scalability with the blockchain and the IoT realm and what is currently being discovered with a lot of projects and scalability. So CP Chain is a new distributed infrastructure for next generation Internet of Things. CP Chain intends to build a fundamental data platform for IoT systems in combination with distributed storage, encryption computation, and blockchain technologies, providing the whole process solution from data acquisition, storage, sharing of application, CP Chain is a promising solution to a series of challenges in the current chimney architecture of IoT, reducing connectivity costs of devices, protecting data privacy, and maximizing the value of IoT data. So as you can see here, the this is what they are considering the issues nowadays in the IoT uh, realm. Basically, reducing uh, connectivity costs of devices, protecting data privacy, and maximizing the value of IoT data. So right now they're saying that data privacy is not there with IoT, connectivity costs are high, and the value of the data is just lost within the platform. So they're going to be able to try to 
utilize their platform to resolve these issues. The features of the projects are scalability, security, and rapidity. I'm not sure if rapidity is an actual word, <laughs> but they do want to make it fast. So fast, secure, and scalable. Utilizing their dual chain structure and their two layer hybrid consensus mechanism, they hope to be able to solve these issues uh, in real time and for everyday users on the IoT ecosystem. The application, so these are where they see themselves being. Big data, obviously, I have talked about in the past. So big data is definitely one of the main realms when it comes to IoT information and getting on there with that, sharing and trading that big data. Intelligent transportation, they think being a transportation hub would allow for that IoT information to be really great, uh, obviously. Traceability, transportation, logistics, all that information is great and the IoT realm has a very large market share in there. And drug traceability, as I have mentioned also in the past when it comes to IoT, drug traceability is also one of the main realms of where blockchain is trying to break up and make it a lot more secure because of fraud, because of bad information, lost data, and all these things can be solved with the blockchain and with a secure, private, and fast blockchain. The CP Chain team right now uh, consists of about 20 plus developers, and the actual core team has Dr. Long, and Dr. Long is a professor at one of the most prestigious uh, universities in China with more than 50 publications in IoT itself. So he is what you would consider a expert in the IoT realm. Dr. Bin has three patents in IoT and has extensive years of research and development on communications, IoT, and fintech. Shi Kingwei uh, was an early participant in blockchain and digital currency founder of the Shared Finance and HPB, participated in preparation and investment of many projects. So he is one of the founders of HPB and Obviously, I will talk about their partnerships shortly, but HPB is one of the core partnerships that CP Chain has in store for us. Moving to the news, as I mentioned before, there are a lot of news articles and publications about CP Chain. They're all in Chinese. There is not one of these that are in English. So without further ado, you can just quickly look over them and see what it is. You see QDEM, Metaverse, HPB, and there's a whole bunch of actual articles that just really talk about IoT in blockchain, a couple of interviews, a couple of collaborations, and I will go into the ones that interested me the most. The first is the Metaverse community collaborates with CP Chain on developing and promoting basic blockchain architecture. So there are three main projects that they are collaborating with. One I was not as familiar with, and that is Metaverse. Basically what Metaverse is a digital asset, digital identity, Oracle, and on-chain exchange and it is a open source blockchain that aims to provide asset digitalization and identity capabilities. So they are working in collaboration with them to promote basic blockchain architecture. The next partnership is what really interests me when I saw uh, my CP chain research was HPB high performance blockchain, which I am very bullish on. I did a review on it before, but basically they announce a strategic partnership with CP Chain and CP Chain's physical information chain and high performance blockchains platform Core Chain formally entered into a strategic partnership. Both parties are strategic partners and will jointly develop blockchains. The platform will jointly promote the use of blockchain technology in the application scenario and use technological innovation to serve the social economic development. So basically, they are now working together to build the IoT plus blockchain project to have a new IoT distributed infrastructure. So obviously, more information to come. I don't take all the words on these releases to be exact because this is a translation, so I don't want to go to too much details because I don't know if the translation is going to be correct 100% on par. All I know is a strategic partnership. The same goes for QTIM. 
So QTIM actually is also in a strategic partnership and they will be looking at the quantum chain uh, to provide financial support as well as good infrastructure and skills uh, for the technical upgrading and iteration of the CP chain physical information chain in the later period. So as I mentioned, I won't go into too many details because this, these are all translated from Chinese and I do not want to take things out of context because I just want to get the information correct. Strategic partnerships with QDEM, HPB, and Metaverse. All great news no matter what with the project. So moving forward, I will now look at the white pages and kind of review the high level information that I think is relevant for myself and my viewers. Basically what CP Chain is now kind of looking at doing is fixing scalability, security, real time issues of data and transactions and integrating it with the blockchain technology. By doing this, they are going to be using a parallel distributed architecture of cloud storage system, decentralized blockchain, and they're going to use that to solve the scalability problem of large scale data storage and sharing. So this is where their dual distributed architecture will work. Second, CP Chain also is presenting a hybrid consensus protocol for their large scale public blockchain based on the collaborative optimization design of computing and communication. Finally, a sidechain consensus system with high security, real time and high concurrent machine transaction is designed by combining edge computing and hardware security methods in the industry chain. Looking at their parallel distributed architecture, they plan to construct a basic data platform for the IoT system providing a full process solution for data acquisition, storage and sharing and the application. On CP Chain, we can build data aggregation and real time data flow applications to maximize the value of the IoT data. The decentralized system can only follow the barrel principle, so it's not scalable. CP Chain proposes the idea of separating the data layer from the control layer. By doing this, they're constructing a parallel architecture to enhance system uh, scalability, provides open data sharing function while protecting user privacy and adopts distributed storage scheme. The user data is encrypted and uploaded to the cloud to reduce the storage burden of the blockchain and to ensure the integrity and accuracy of the data. So looking at the actual chain here, you have different layers. You have the physical layer, which is the actual devices, the smartphone, the sensor, the data gateway, the IoT actual physical layer, the data layer, which is going to be the distributed storage, which also will uh, coherently work with the cloud, the contract layer, which is the control code, the state variable. The application layer is an interface between user and contractual interactions which can be developed according to different requirements. And the last layer is the control layer which is the blockchain where the consensus algorithm, the hashing, the time stamping, and the incentive mechanism occurs. Looking at the distributed architecture of CB Chain, they utilize a parallel distributed architecture. One is for the distributed storage on the cloud and the main chain, which is where the data will be available. The user data will be encrypted into blocks at the client side. Each part will enter different storage nodes and the hash credentials will upload all the nodes into the blockchain network so that the data can be verified, confirmed, and so on. Parallel distributed architecture separates the data layer from the blockchain, which not only preserves the security and the decentralization of the blockchain system, but also improves the scalability and greatly reduces the block size. So uh, by reducing the block size, the speed and the scalability greatly increases. So having this dual layer actually helps when it comes to the storage in the CP chain model. So the actual layers here, and they talk a little bit more into detail about separating the data layer from the control layer, it is necessary to build a distributed storage network and ensure efficient interaction with the blockchain and an effective connection must be established between the two parallel architectures. At the same time, security and efficiency of the system should be guaranteed. In addition, if the data layer is independent, the blockchain itself will be abandoned to protect the privacy of the data. So we must design a privacy protection scheme based on encryption technology. The encryption function based on re-encryption or homomorphic 
encryption has certain requirements for computing resource but the blockchain itself has limited computing resources and high cost so it's necessary to strike a balance between privacy and availability so this talks about how the different layers of the data will be put onto one the cloud one onto the actual blockchain by having some of the information on the cloud they are reducing the computing resources and also allowing the privacy because the information is also stored on the blockchain and that's where everything needs to be verified validated before the data can actually be retrieved so kind of cool how they do it and they can balance it between the two this kind of just talks a little bit more about how the data flows on both the cloud and the blockchain and how the actual distributed storage is here and the nodes on the cloud have the data but they need to still access the blockchain to verify the data the nodes and all this information will actually be utilized in a efficient manner moving to the consensus model CP chain proposes a committee based two layer agreement to enhance CP chains consensus performance in the first round of consensus the system performs a local electoral algorithm at the beginning of a fixed round when a block is added called a round uh, to determine the level of nodes in the rounds if the result is high then the node has the right to record the round in the second round of consensus the process of the block packing verification and the whole network broadcast will be completed so they are moving away from proof of work consensus because of the the consumption of a huge amount of computing resources which leads to inefficiencies traditional byzantine fault tolerance algorithms cannot be applied to the large scale public blockchains so that's why they're not using either of those and they're using their own two layer consensus model and this talks about how the consensus uh, goes through a first layer determines how many nodes are in the consensus uh, in the block and then moves to the second layer of consensus and it is voted on looking at the typical applications of CP chain as I mentioned in previous videos IOT has a huge range of use but one of the things that they're talking about here is as an example is just traffic data and obviously there's utilization in transportation intelligent manufacturing intelligent city and other industry systems but here they talk about traffic information just to show you how an example of the IOT information would be pushed through the system big data obviously is one of the biggest things with the era of big data the value of data is very well known the huge amount of data generated by CP chain will also be of great value and CP chain will use blockchain technology to make all the data available to and at the disposal of users it avoids big companies monopolizing data as you guys know I have talked about this before basically IOT data um, platforms allow access to large amounts of real data at low cost which will greatly facilitate technological progress having this information out there will greatly reduce needs the cost of companies and make things better for pretty much the whole industry whatever industry that is uh, consuming the data looking at their main net they do have quite a long time to go when it comes to their actual project their mainnet is looking to be launched in October this is their platform version 1.0 in June it looks like they establish a complete framework so this most likely will be a beta and then in 2019 they have a develop a sample application to attract more businesses and developers to join and 2020 IOT secured data gateway sidechain consensus typical IOT applications so this has a very long roadmap obviously this kind of makes me a little bit worried about the project but they do have a lot of things going on uh, they have some really cool partnerships going on I also saw something around VeChain, but I couldn't find the exact article about it and I know that they have an alliance with a automotive industry so there is some really cool things coming down the works for them and I think they could actually find themselves in a good position moving forward looking at blockchain and IOT obviously it's a huge market there's a lot of competitors but I think it's a good thing CP chain right now is a very low market cap it's a very undervalued coin in my personal opinion even though it doesn't have a working product right now they do have a good team small team relatively and 
obviously not a lot of information out there but i don't think a lot of these companies have really moved to the western world so obviously do your own research check it out let me know what you guys think i think it's a very interesting project i'm personally not involved with it i think it is something that could have a huge huge move especially with eight cents right now this could be a a big project moving forward in 2018 and 2019 we just don't know where things are going to go but i definitely think it's a very cool project iot is a big realm uh, and I would definitely check it out. Hope you guys like this. Please like, subscribe, and shoot me a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. Have a great day. Thanks again.